Uh, good morning, Tommy Q, Vice President of Sales with JB Warranties. I'm here today with JBW Trade Talk with Theo from Mingledorf's. Uh, Mingledorf's is a very large distributor over in the southeast part of the country. Theo, thanks for spending some time with us today. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for having me. We've, uh, we've had a, a long partnership together. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just kind of tell folks around the country a little bit about the Mingledorf's and their history, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Mingledorf's history is pretty uh, extensive, um, going back when it was founded in 1939 uh, by Ling Ming Lee Mingledorf. And uh, when it was established back then, it was just a carrier contractor. Um, so they were, they were installing the equipment back then. Um, and actually, uh, Lee Mingledorf, how he got started was he installed the first air conditioning unit for his father-in-law uh, in Savannah. So his first ever air conditioning installed in Savannah, and obviously being down there, humid and everything, they definitely needed it. So um, installed that back in 1939. Um, and actually the original compressor that was in that unit is in on display in our Savannah location. And it was still running to, to the day it was removed in 1988. So um, pretty cool that, that, you know, the technology worked back then and continued to work until 1988. So, um, that was installed. He did that. And then when world war two happened, uh, like a lot of the country, a lot of businesses stopped, shut down and had to go and help out with the war. So what Lee did is he went to work, uh, for building minesweepers for the U S Navy. So for a few years while he was doing that mingled horse was kind of shut down. Uh, and then after the war, the company resumed and they became a direct distributor and contractor for carrier products after that. So uh, you could say that we're kind of born to thrive in chaos. We've done a lot of things and, you know, especially with the pandemic right now, uh, we do a lot to help out, uh, you know, those who need it and uh, especially our customers. So, you know, during the war, we helped out the U.S. Navy and now we're helping out our customers and partnering with them and making sure that we're doing all those things right for them, taking care of them. So. Um, when the residential demand grew for air conditioning back in the forties and fifties, um, a lot of dis direct distributors and contractors are out there were competing. So, um, carrier recognized that the distributor contractors were competing with regular contractors and decided to literally flip a coin to decide what, uh, these contractors or distributors were going to do in mingled or uh, got the distribution side of things. So uh, we got the rights to distribute carrier products in Georgia, some of South Carolina, and a little bit of Alabama, kind of near the Columbus area. Uh, so in the 60s, um, we did a lot of aggressive advertising, and that was kind of pioneered by Bob Kesterton, our past president, and uh, helped grow the brand and the dealers. One of the, the things that we generally tell our customers is that we want to brand the dealers. The dealers are the people in the neighborhood that the people know and really want, really want to make sure that we highlight them. Um, so that was something that we started doing back in the 60s. Um, and then we grew and grew and grew. And in 1985, Bud Mingledorf, who we all know very well, is, uh, became the president. Uh, and that was around nine distribution centers at the time. Uh, and we moved our headquarters up to Peachtree Corners uh, in just a little bit north of Atlanta, where we are now. Um, so as Bud progressed through, we got the rights for Bryant distribution in uh, 1990 and in that current footprint that we were in. Uh, and then in 2008, David Kesterton, our current president, take over, and he took over tw with 21 distribution centers. Um, and in 2009, just a year afterwards, we purchased Equipment Sales Corporation. So that was a distributor down out of the Gulf Coast. So we got uh, the rights for Carrier and Bryant in lower Alabama, the Gulf Coast, and parts of Mississippi. And then in the North Alabama, Birmingham area, um, we got the rights to sell Bryant equipment. So... How many, uh, how many locations are you currently operating out of? So that was my next thing. We yeah. have 35 distribution centers that are open to, to direct customers uh, throughout all of Georgia, Alabama, the Gulf Coast, and a little bit of Mississippi and South Carolina. Gotcha. And employee headcount, roughly, because you're a very large distributor. Very mm -hmm. large. We've got over 600 employees right now. Nice. Nice. One of the things you guys have done, and we've been fortunate enough to be invited to over the last several years, is dealer meetings. Mm -hmm. They're somewhat legendary. <laughs> How many contractors do you typically get on a normal year to your dealer meetings? Tell me a little bit about how that all works for you all. 
Yeah, so uh, we generally, our, our attendee count gets to about 350 dealer attendees uh, that come to our dealer meetings. We have about 120 vendor attendees that come and uh, about 50 sponsors. So overall, last year, I think we had over 870 uh, attendees at our dealer meeting. Um, you know, planning those dealer meetings, it's a, like you said, they're, they're, they're big. They're a big undertaking. And uh, we usually start over a year in advance um, planning those things out. So typically when we're getting ready to conduct a dealer meeting, I've already done a site visit for the next, the dealer meeting after that. So, um, you know, it's, it's a big undertaking with the marketing department. Um, we've got a meeting planning company that helps us out and we conduct bi-weekly meetings, um, that far out to, you know, see where we are, make sure we're progressing. Right. And then, you know, major decisions that we're making, um, up to six months in advance before the, the meeting actually happens. Wow. The last one was in Alabama. Where's your next one going to be? Or do you even know yet with what's going on in our country? So actually the most recent one right before the pandemic hit was in Atlanta here. Okay. Uh, we had the, that dealer meeting. Mobile was a big hit. Um, it was right then during Mardi Gras, which is where uh, a lot of people don't know, you know, Mardi Gras was actually started in Mobile. Everybody thinks of New Orleans, but Mobile is actually where it came from. Yeah. Um, so we had a, a, a really fun time down there. Uh, we had the Mardi Gras parade that come, came by right in front of the hotel that we were staying at. So we got to uh, have a, a really good weather and everybody was outside having a great time. Um, and then, you know, we, we have to, you know, try and beat that every year. Right. So it's hard yeah. to do that because everybody had such a great time. So this past year, um, our dealer meeting was actually, uh, the first night was, or the night before was the night of the national championship game. And we actually, uh, rented out the gull wing suite down at Mercedes Benz stadium and invited our customers to come hang out and the gull wing suite, which is field level. And, um, we got to watch the national championship game. Obviously it wouldn't be getting played there, but, um, we got to watch it inside this really, really cool bar area down there. So it was really a lot of fun. That's nice. You guys have, I'm going to say thousands of contractors and you have both branded Bryant and carrier. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you, what keeps them so loyal to Mingledorf? Do you all have a, a whole dealer program that got incentives and advertising and rebates and marketing mm -hmm. funds? Tell me a little bit about your program and what makes you hold on to these contractors. Yeah. So, I mean, when we look at our, our customers, we don't necessarily think of them customers. We think of them as partners. We're really dedicated to making sure we're equipping them to succeed, not only with, you know, the pun is with equipment, we're equipping them, but also giving them the tools and things necessary to help them be successful. Um, our marketing and advertising programs are very extensive. We provide a lot of benefits for our customers. Um, one of the big ones is an advertising program that uh, we give our loyal dealers um, a discounted advertising program uh, that's run through uh, an, our agency of record, all contractor marketing. So we, we basically come out and it's actually right around now, this time of the year, we're going to get started, but present them uh, with specialized marketing by a company that was actually HVAC contractors at one time. So um, Chris and Michelle were HVAC contractors. They know the business, they've run through the business and then they've, moved into marketing and they've been doing that for about 15 years, but they get discounted uh, advertising. Uh, we make sure that their customers are doing the right things. And then we uh, give them a little bit of a discount, help them pay for it throughout the year. Nice. So not only are they a customer and a partner of yours, but you're also helping them improve their business model. Absolutely. You're having them focus on a marketing campaign, which most of the Chuck in the truck type guys don't do that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you've got yourself, you've got a, such an elite dealer base of what I call fad dealers. I think mm -hmm. fad. correct. Um, the, the loyalty to the Mingledorf's company is phenomenal from your mm -hmm. contractor base. Mm -hmm. We've been fortunate to be a partner of you, JB Warty's and Mingledorf now going on eight years. You guys have done a fantastic job with us. Most of your contractors sell extended warranties. How do you all, put that in front of a contractor to tie an extended warranty to a consumer to allow that contractor to have that consumer for five or 10 years. You see the value in that in some of your contractors? Yeah, we, we actually ab absolutely do. Um, a lot of our dealers uh, find JB being a great value and uh, especially the number of options that they can get to give to their homeowners. 
um, and the hassle free process that, that y'all provide for them. Um, that's definitely something that we hear a lot from our dealers. Y'all are incredibly easy to work with. Um, and then it, especially with us, y'all are always engaged with us. Y'all are coming to all of our meetings, you know, Will's always at our open houses, hanging out. He's probably eating up all our food, but you know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's having a good time. And, and, you know, we, we really love all the support that y'all give us and our customers because our customers wouldn't use y'all one, one, we're very selective on who we put in front of our customers too. Nice. We don't want to put somebody that's not going to support them or help them out or not communicate with them. That's very near and dear to our hearts. And uh, we make sure that we put those people in front of them that will do that. So y'all support um, is uh, great for our customers and we really do appreciate all of it. Some of your carrier Bryant dealers and Will Basco, by the way, our regional manager for the Southeast used to work for Mingle Doris for yep. but, well, just a couple of years, like 15, 14, 14, 14 years. And a short. couple of your key contractors over there came to Will several years ago and wanted some custom made marketing material. Mm -hmm. So with Mingledorf's help, with Will's help, and with our marketing department, your dealers can get customized brochures, literature. And so we produce all of that free of charge for your contractors. So that helps in the engagement as well. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, Theo, you guys have been a great partner, man. You guys are just rock Thanks. solid. The, the Carrier Bryant brand is cream of the crop. Um, the Mingledorf's personnel that we have to deal with from Mr. Kesterson, Bud, Jeff, Mr. Ke all of them. You guys mm -hmm. have just been great partners. And I just want to thank you for the brief time this morning on the phone. Is there anything else you need to tell the world, if you will? How are you all <laughs> dealing with the COVID crisis? Has it affected you in any way or business holding on good? Business is doing very well, actually. Um, I think with the, the weather has been hot, at least. And um, one thing that we've kind of seen is that with COVID crisis, people are at home right now. And they're definitely more willing to get their air conditioning fixed faster uh, because they're sitting in it if, it, if it's broken. Um, and, you know, uh, people are uh, spending a little bit of money now, too. So uh, I think some of the stimulus go coming out would help people uh, encourage them to spend some more money, especially on home improvements and things like that. So uh, we're doing well. Um, a lot of our stores were initially closed down um, and pick up only, but we've, we've adapted, we've pivoted um, to make sure that our stores are now uh, safe. Uh, we've put in some of the best IQ technology out there that we could to make sure that our stores are being cleaned uh, through the air and then uh, manually by hand too. So uh, we're definitely adapting. Um, you know, with our, our upcoming dealer meeting that's supposed to be in February in Savannah, we're, uh, it's still a fluid situation. We're still trying to see what's going on and, and what's going to happen with that. Uh, we've been engaging with our customers and a lot of our uh, uh, vendors to see it, what their thoughts on it will be. And, uh, you know, it's still up in the air. We're obviously going to announce once we make a decision. But right now, uh, the dealer meeting is pending February 24th, 25th of 2021 in Savannah, Georgia. You said the, the key word that I've learned this year is pivot. I mm -hmm. deal with, uh, we've got a hundred or so distributor partners across the country. Man, we have learned how to pivot. Right. <laughs> Definitely. We're one of the lucky ones. We're an essential business. And mm -hmm. I've got a sales staff at JB Warney's north of 25 sales folks. Mm -hmm. And we don't make that many dealer calls anymore, but we, we sure learn <laughs> how to work the phones and host webinars. Yep. And, Definitely. Uh, it's been a changed business environment, but you're right. People are staying home and in the Southern half of the United States, they don't go without air conditioning. No. They break, they fix it or they get another one. So yeah. again, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it very much. And mm -hmm. uh, let us know if we can help you. Absolutely. Thank y'all for having me.